Once we got checked into our temporary accommodations at the Hotel Paraíso Mexicano, we quickly found out why Playa Norte, on the north end of Isla Mujeres, is consistently rated as one of the top 10 beaches in the world. Oh yeah, and we also found out that when it rains, it really rains. We enjoyed performances on the plaza and did our best to try every single restaurant and eatery on the island. We found a stylish little coffee shop with fantastic frappuccinos, we learned how to use public transportation in Cancun, which of course we used to go to the coolest theater we've ever been to, Sinopolis VIP. And you know we did some diving. On this trip, we went to the Musa, the underwater art museum. We highly recommend this as a unique dive experience. Oh yeah, then we got a great deal on an apartment for the next 12 months. And that was the first month of our new life. Whether you're buying a home or renting an apartment in paradise, we found the mantra is the same. Location, location, location. This month we were dazzled by the magnificent frigate bird soaring above us, experienced our first tropical storm, got smoked at yoga, found a great new restaurant, took the time to get up close and personal with the local wildlife, Then Kate's big sister came to visit, so we took her on a death-defying ride to the Koba ruins, stopping in route for tacos, of course. Koba is home to the highest Mayan pyramid still standing in Mexico, and bonus, you can climb it. Correction, you're allowed to climb it. Then we headed underground to swim in a subterranean cenote. Then we headed up into the sun for a swim in a surface cenote through the mangroves. And then, of course, for some more food. The next day saw us back in Cancun on a shopping extravaganza through markets and malls. Back on the island, we got a golf cart and showed Kelly the sights. Then went to Mango Cafe for an amazing lunch. Kelly's visit was at an end, but we were off to Playa del Carmen after a stop at Starbucks to tour the city, watch the local sights, and head off to yet another cenote, Cenote Azul. a little time to walk the gorgeous beaches of Playa del Carmen before heading back to Isla Mujeres. And that's June in the books. Bring on July. In July we spent most of our time in the water, on the beach, or getting to know the local animals both under the water and on land. Grunt, needlefish, arrow crab, lionfish, ghost crab, banded coral shrimp, flamefish, long fin damselfish, spotted drum, I love the iguanas, and the pelicans, and the dorky seagulls. During one of our walks, we found super yacht Galactica Star came to visit. Kate was more interested in planks and sunsets. We took a day trip to Parque Las Palapas in Cancun for street food. Then back home for the Environmental Film Festival, and a benefit for senior citizens. And a little more food sightseeing. That's another month in the books. So far, I'm in life is peaceful and entertaining. August kicked off with our second tropical storm, which later became a hurricane, and left our beaches strewn with seaweed. But the locals got it cleaned up, and soon we were back to looking at lizards and hanging out on the beach. Flame box crab, mangrove jellyfish. Kate's been doing her part to make the world a better place by cleaning up trash off the sea floor on our daily swims. It seems to be an unending task, but as my grandpa used to say, every little bit helps a little. This is Pancho, the cutest little love bug. And the laziest cat ever. After some more time on the beach, we hit the food truck festival and we're off to Cozumel, where we went straight to my favorite taqueria, and then took a walk around the plaza at night. 
we found even more amazing food over the next few days, then headed to the east side of the island for a different view. We visited Mayan ruins, ate more, got rained on, and then went diving. It's no mistake that Cozumel is a mecca for diving. We went snorkeling at a friend's house. Then enjoyed another night on the plaza. The Discover Mexico Park is a simply can't miss experience on Cozumel. It was absolutely amazing. It even had a Go Ducks donkey. And I got to see a turtle. Next it was off to beautiful Shunkanov Park, where we enjoyed lagoons, crocodiles, and even some snorkeling. Now it was time to enjoy some live reggae music on the trip back home. A great new restaurant opened. Then there was another amazing cultural festival. And for Kate's birthday, we finally found her a great cinnamon roll at the marina. We headed to the cafe to read while escaping the rain, and closed out the month with another gorgeous sunset. This month I found an amazing acupuncturist. My side of the family came to visit. Following a short shopping trip in Cancun, we all got on a luxury bus and headed off to the colonial city of Valladolid. From Valladolid, we went out to see the ruins of Chichen Itza, a must-see for anyone visiting the Yucatan. A stop off at Cenote y Quil to cool us off before heading back to Valladolid for an amazing meal. After some more sightseeing and some more tacos, we headed back to the island. We spent a morning swimming and snorkeling at Garafan de Castillo. Here for your sleep. Then we had another great lunch at Mango Cafe went off to Zama Beach Club for the afternoon. My family headed home, but more friends came to visit. Then Kate's twin sister arrived. What could go wrong? Of course nothing went wrong. It was a great visit as always. Some more good friends popped in for a day, so we took them around the island and to the turtle farm, where the turtle conservation efforts are centered on the island. Yay, the new sign is done. Then we killed a little time making some sea glass art. Our first week on the island, I saw this cool Mexican Navy ship close to shore. I thought, that must happen all the time, I'll get it tomorrow. Well, it doesn't, and I was finally able to get it photographed. If you thought October was slow, you haven't seen anything. In November, we had a really cool full moon, spent a lot of time on the beach and in the water, and, uh, well, uh, there was a lowrider festival, and then we saw a cool bird, and that is November in the books. That's more like it. Even better than Christmas goose are the shish kebabs at Hobbies. On Motorcycle Safety Day, they did this without helmets. In this old cemetery is the tomb of the pirate Mundaka, who is actually buried in Merida. Velasquez is the perfect place for grilled fresh fish and a beautiful sunset. The carnival came to town. Spoiler alert, we did not ride the rides, but we did head to the beach pretty much every day. He's doing it right. They're doing it right. She's doing it wrong. Despite the temperatures in the 80s, Christmas trees and lights were everywhere. As were carolers and decorated golf carts. I'm still slobbering over yachts and Kate's still cleaning up the ocean. Now we're back in Cozumel for New Year's, and so is the sea cloud. We headed underwater for New Year's Eve. What's that, Kate? After getting cleaned up, we had a wonderful dinner at Le Chef, capped off with a midnight walk to ring in the New Year. With last year in the books, I get in some more dives. Kate piles in a jeep and tours the east side of the island. Now it's back home to Isla Mujeres. Another group of friends comes to visit, so we're up before dawn to head off on an adventure. Back 
back to Isla for more food and fun in the sun. This is a cascuela, and it's even better than it looks. Another day of epic conversations with great friends. Welcome to Carnival. We did our best to make sure no food went unsampled. But apparently, Carnival is about more than just food. This girl got crowned queen. All these people were dancing in the streets. Kate climbed a tree. Okay, not sure if that has anything to do with Carnival. Kelly and Rick got here for the last day of Carnival, so of course we went to the beach and then ate until we got sick. Oh my God, I'm so full. I may never eat food again, ever. And that's February in the books. If it's too loud, we're too old. This is me editing videos. As you notice, my iPhone 6 is connected to my computer by a cable. I'm effectively using one of the most technologically advanced communication devices known to man as an external mic. This is Mango Cafe, one of the number one places to eat on the island. This folkloric dance troupe from the state of Quintana Roo was incredible and put on the best show we've seen on the island. Too bad the remainder of the show was rained out. Rick got called up as the guinea pig at a great magic show at the Poknaw Hostel. This is called the International DJ Music Festival. And as you can see, it's a renowned success. Resounding success. <laughs> or not. Best tamales ever. Carrie's back, and this time she brought their mom with her. And Alfred Hitchcock. What are you pretty ladies doing? We're going on a road trip. There you go. Okay, come on, driver. I'm the chauffeur, so we gotta go. <laughs> All too soon, their visit was over, and we were off to our next adventure. We are at the Cancun Airport, heading off to a cruise uh, out of Miami. Hey, checking into the Marriott Courtyard, which we got on points. Yay, points. A lot of cool things happened on our cruise, but Kate made sure this happened first. So this is the Tlaibuda Oaxaqueño, the Oaxacan specialty. Beach is awesome. It's good to be back out here. We just got back from a little off-island excursion, uh, which I'm sure you've already seen and don't need to hear any more about. We're gonna go off and swim and enjoy ourselves. Go ahead, that is us for now. And that is Playa Norte.